Hello everyone and welcome back to the One Man Renegade podcast YouTube channel. Uh, I am your host, the Honorable Greg B, and we have another Jam Packs, old school Jam Pack uh, from jampacks.net. Um, the March edition, if you missed the February edition, go check that out right now, um, as well as checking out all my information down below, uh, the blog, my blog, my podcast, uh, Twitter, all that stuff. Also, check out the website for jampacks.net so you can get one of your own. Uh, but also, go hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button, hit the notification bell. Hit, go check out the channel and check out all my other videos. Um, so, this is Jam Pack, the old school Jam Pack. Um, they also offer a uh, new school. I don't know. I don't think it's called new school. I think it's just modern. Um, and there's the old school, and then there's the best of both worlds, which is a little bit of column A and a little bit of column B. Um, but uh, I skip, I'm sticking with the old school for now. May switch it up at some point, but for now, uh, kind of like the nostalgic factor of the old school jam pack. And it's also a little bit cheaper. And I feel like you get more in this. Um, but that doesn't necessarily translate to value or anything. I mean, a lot of this stuff is old, old wax that, um, you know, junk wax, if you will. But the nostalgic factor is definitely there. Um, plus, you get a team bag of some cool cards and also a guaranteed Hall of Famer rookie card and a guaranteed Hall of Fame autograph. Uh, so those that's cool things. Um, so before we get started, I just want to say hopefully everyone out there is staying safe and practicing all the special things you need to practice right now. Wash your hands, uh, stay isolated, shelter in place, quarantine if you need be, self-quarantine, um, you know, uh, you know, coughing into your elbow, that whole thing. Anything you can do to help stop the spread of, you know, the situation that's going on that YouTube doesn't like people talking about. Um, uh, but you know what I'm talking about. Everyone, if you, I, I don't know how you would know what I'm talking about right now. But hopefully everyone is staying safe. Uh, but with that, you know, a lot of people are stuck in their homes with nothing to do and no sports on and, you know... You know, I can only watch so many episodes of, on Netflix and stuff, so if you're looking for something sports-related, you know, hopefully this will help a little bit, you know, I don't know. But, um, let's get into opening up some jam packs. Now, unlike the last time when I did this, the February edition, which, honestly, that, uh, that video is really, really long because there's a lot of stuff in here, which is good. Uh, I mean, I like, you know, you get your value here because there's a lot of stuff, but... Unfortunately, that made for a really, really long video. It was like a half an hour long or so. So what I'm going to do um, this time around to kind of, you know, because people have short attention spans these days. Although maybe not, you know, given the situation. Maybe you're just looking for stuff to watch. Uh, maybe you're a little more inclined to watch a longer video. But it, you know, given that some of my other videos have done better being shorter, I'm going to split these up into two parts. So today I'm going to do half the box. And then tomorrow I'll come back for the rest of the box. Um... So there we go. Little uh, little uh, reading for your uh, little bit of information on what we get in the box. What's in the box? Um, get hundred. Oh, you also get top loaders and card sleeves. Uh, that's always good. Um, you get twelve singles in the team bag. I forgot. And then twenty packs. Twenty packs. So we'll do we'll do ten today, um, and then we'll do the team bag, and then tomorrow we'll do the Hall of Famers, and the other 10. So let's figure out, but let's figure out what 10 I should do. Okay. And there we go, glorious, the glorious cards. Oh, uh, so we'll save this for tomorrow. This will do today, we start off with a Carly Ostromsky. I was just thinking about Carly Ostromsky, and I'll tell you a little bit in a, in a moment why. I was looking up some of his stats um, for reasons. Uh, top loader, uh, Card sleeves, always always useful, always needed. Um, uh, got some peanuts, you know. If you're running out of food, don't eat those. Don't eat them. Don't eat them. I know I made that joke before. Whatever. Just don't eat the peanuts. Maybe get some regular peanuts. Get those. All right, so... Uh, come on. Let's grab these packs out of here. 87 Fleer, 92 Leaf Series 1. Uh, 92 uh, Donruss Series 2, 92 Fleer Ultra, uh, 92 uh, Series 1 Pinnacle, then we got uh, 92 Studio, 
89 upper deck, 90 upper deck, uh, 88 score. We got, is this 88 Donruss? I always forget. <laughs> 89 Fleer, uh, 87 Tops, 89 Donruss. 89 uh, Bowman, so a lot of 89s. I mean, clearly, I'd said looking for Griffey. Now, 89 tops, but Griffey, we know not in that. Uh, what else we got? 90 tops, 91 tops, 92 tops, and then um, 88 Fleer and 88 tops. All right, so how should we split this up? All right, let's. Um, Two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and the two. Deck. So, all right, this pack, this stack will do today. This other stack will do tomorrow. So I'll come back tomorrow for that stack. Um, and today we're gonna do this stack. So we'll start off, uh, should we go in num uh, numerical? I was gonna say numerical order. Chronological order, I think, would be the better way to put that. So we got 88, 92, 89, this is 90, oops. So 89, 90, 92, 92, 92, 92. All right, here we go. Kick it off with, oops, as I drop everything on the floor. Kick it off with 87 uh, Fleer, obviously looking for uh, the Bonds. Um, some uh, Bo Jackson, those are the big ones. There's a few others in there too. Uh, Andre Thornton, Gary Templeton, Greg Walker, Jamie Moyer, that's his rookie card, I believe. Jamie Moyer rookie card. I don't think it's has much value, but it's it is a rookie card. Uh, let's see what else. Roger Mason, Don Robinson, Rick Burleson, Leon Dunham, Jim Cressley, Jay Howell, Pete Incavilia. That might be his rookie too. I mean, not in. <laughs> I mean, it's Pete Incavilia, but whatever. Uh, Von Berger, Dave Smith. All right, so Jamie Moyer rookie card. Nothing really great other than that inside there. All right, we we'll go 88 uh, score. Looking for Caminetti, Glavin. I think they're in there. I'm not 100% sure. I forget who's in score. But there's a nice one. Nolan Ryan right in the back. Um, Don Mattingly. He's a solid, uh, Wasn't not a Hall of Famer, but is certainly a superstar from especially the late 80s and early 90s. Um, let's see, Robbie Thompson, the little... Trivia Dealy, uh, Kurt Ford, Randy Bush, George Hendrick, Dave Rigetti, who threw a no hit against the Red Sox. I don't really remember it because I think I was too young, but I do remember people talking about it. Uh, Mike Burbeck, uh, Dave Collins, Dale, whatever, Kevin Gross, Phil Necro, he's a Hall of Famer, I believe, uh, Mark Davidson, and of course Nolan Ryan, who is definitely a Hall of Famer. Um, so there you go. Uh, Nolan Ryan, obviously, I would say is the best card out of that pack. The batting is pretty solid, too. All right, then, 88 uh, Donruss. I've been opening a ton of this, if you've watched any of the Hot Corner boxes, because there's, like, one of these in every box, seemingly. Um, looking for the Glavin. Get the little uh, puzzle piece. The Glavin, the Caminiti, the uh, Roberto Alomar. Uh, there we go. So, do do, do Dwayne Ward. Bo Diaz. Dave Winfield. He's a Hall of Famer. Greg Gross, Steve Trout, not related to Mike Trout, I don't think. I'm not sure, though. Uh, I wouldn't think so, but I don't know. Could be. Uh, is he? I don't know. I keep going. Uh, Andre Thomas, Brooke Jacoby, uh, Phil Bradley, John Farrell. There he is, rated rookie card. Don August, Rick Honeycutt, and Ty Ganey. So, Winfield, best card out of there. All right, moving on to 89. We're looking for the Griffey. Um, obviously... Also, um, there's gum in here. Uh, that doesn't actually look terrible, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna eat it. <laughs> it's 
the 31 year old gum at this point. So, you know, looking for the, um, is Biggio in this set? I can't, Biggio, Randy Johnson, Sheffield, uh, Griffey, um, I feel like I'm, Smoltz. I forget if they're all in the set though. Uh, but, um, yeah, these ones are kind of weird because they don't have the names on the front. Well, they do, but like, I mean, that's Frank Williams, but like, I don't know who this guy is. Uh, Juan Berenger. Okay. Uh, Manny Trio. Trillo. Eric Hansen. I remember Eric Hansen. Frank Williams. All right, George Brett. Obviously a Hall of Famer. I know him. Um, then we got Charles Nagy. I remember him. Uh, Mickey Mantle, like, reprint thingy. Uh, Hubie Brooks. That's uh, Eric Plunk. Then we got Joe McGran, Ozzie Keen, Glenn Davis, and Dale Vale. Dale Vale? Really? Or Dave Vale. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. His name's Dale Vale. Dave Vale. Sorry, Dave. Um, all right, moving on. 89 Donruss. Looking for the same guys, except also in this set uh, was uh, Kurt Schilling. Kurt Schilling, rookie card, is also in this. So looking for that as well. Will Clark, uh, the, uh, John Franco, Greg Matthews, uh, Keith Brown, uh, Greg, Tommy Gregg, Keith Moreland. I don't know if he's a red Mitch, Mitch Moreland, is he? I don't know. Uh, Tony Pena, obviously, uh, Red Sox. Another, Nolan Ryan. There you go. He's a Hall of Famer. Nolan Ryan, solid card there. Harold Baines, he's a Hall of Famer. Um, Scott Fletcher and Kirk Miss McCaskill. So, again, the Nolan Ryan saves the pack. Uh, let's move on. We got 90 uh, upper deck. Looking for um, Sosa and Larry Walker. And um, I don't know if this is the high series or not. It doesn't look like it. Uh, and uh, Frank Thomas. I believe they're all in the regular set. They, I think. All right, Darren Dalton, um, Don Plesek, Chet Lemon, Daniel Coles, Chris Carpenter, but not that Chris Carpenter, a different Chris Carpenter, Bob Walk, goofy looking guy, uh, Rick Myler, uh, yeah, Danny Jackson, Hale Morris, Hal Morris, Frank Viola, remember on the Red Sox, uh, Brian Fisher. Gene Nelson and Ronaldo Rooms. Rooms? Rooms? I don't know. All right, moving on. Uh, 92 uh, Donruss. I can't, Series 2, I can't really think of any rookies from this year, but uh, there's always the slight, slight, slightest, slight chance you get an elite card, but I highly doubt it. Um, all right, Neil Heaton, Lonnie Smith, Mike Greenwell, Spike Owen. Milt Thompson, Keith Mitchell, Ben McDonald, Ozzie Smith, he's a Hall of Famer, uh, Tom Bernanski, Scott Aldred, Omar Olivares, uh, Joe, that guy, Mike Sharp Sharperson, another Neil Heaton, really? What the heck? And another Lonnie Smith. Come on, Donruss, what'd you do here? The collation, terrible. I got two of the same, two of the same cards. Two of two of the same cards. Dumb. Uh, Ozzy Smith, best card out of that pack. Um, now let's move on to the 92 Leaf Series 1. Again, I can't think of who the rookies would be in this. Jeff Kent, was he in the set, maybe? Um, Thomas Howard, Ron Karkovice, gold card, or black gold card. Brett Main, uh, Mark, uh, Karen, uh, Jack, you know, Greg Myers, Kevin Mitchell, again. Uh, Kevin Bass. Uh, Ron Dibble, Rob Dibble, sorry, Greg Breeley, uh, Roger McDowell, another Mike Greenwell. Like I, I, I mentioned this in a previous video, I believe, but uh, he lived next to my high, uh, my elementary school uh, back in the day. Jeff Houston, Randy Reddy, Greg uh, Hibbard, and Mike Moore. So nothing really good out of that pack. Um, let's move on to 92 Studio. These were interesting cards. To say the least, um, they had them, them in the studio. Um, Daryl Kyle, um, Hall, Alan Trammell's a Hall of Famer. Uh, Mike Sharperson again. Keith Miller, 
Mickey Tettleton, Mike Sosha, Kevin McReynolds, Scott Fletcher, Jeff Brantley, Juan Gonzalez, not a Hall of Famer, but he has a, he had a solid career, Pedro Guerrero, and Dave Winfield, a Hall of Famer. A uh, couple Hall of Famers out of that, so not too bad. And then we'll f finish things off uh, with, well, not finish things, finish off the packs anyways with this 92 tops. Again, can't think of any real rookies from this year. But um, yeah, we've got some Hall of Famers, some stars. Todd Zeal, uh, Stan Javier. Uh, then we got Bobby Thompson, Scott Servais, uh, Paul Ferries, Jim Lindman, uh, Daryl Strawberry. Obviously, he was a star back in the day. Monty Ferris, Daryl Kyle again. Unfortunately, he passed away about... Oh, that one. What year was that? Like two thousand two, maybe. Can't remember. Bill Lundrum, uh, Steve Avery, Alan Trammell, Hall of Famer. Ellis Burks. I was actually talking about him recently, and I'll get to it in a second. Um, Andy Van Slyke and Pat Combs. Um, so now let's get to this team bag of a bunch of singles. I think they said twelve. Uh, so, Carlos Simpson, I was just talking about him because the Red Sox posted something on their Instagram was, set your all-time Red Sox lineup. And so I was thinking, okay, so if you're talking about all-time, all-time, obviously Carlos Stremski would be considered, but, like, here's the problem. Do you go him? Do you go Ted Williams? Do you go Manny? You know, Jim Wright? They all played left field. You can't have five left fielders. But then I thought to myself, well, maybe I should do it if I was going to set up my lineup. So what I mean by that is, do it based off the guys you saw play. So obviously, Kyle Stremski, you know, his last year was 83. I was barely b born yet. Ted Williams, obviously, never saw play. So so I was just, I was just kind of looking at his stats compared to, like, Manny's or whatever. But, you know, obviously with Manny, he didn't play the whole time with the Red Sox and whatever. So it'd be hard to put Manny in over Carlos Stremski or Ted Williams for that matter. But I didn't see those guys play. So for me, I think it would be Manny Ramirez playing left field. But then it's like, well, am I, I'm, you know, you're doing defense, you're doing offense. That's why Ellis Burks came up, because he was a pretty good center fielder. I remember him being good, but would he get in over Johnny Damon? Uh, he played more years with the Red Sox than Damon did. But then it's like Jackie Bradley Jr. is really good as a defensive center fielder, but offensively, uh, I don't know. So it was it was a weird debate. Uh, Carlton Fitz, there's another guy that, you know, I never really saw. I never saw him play as for the Red Sox. So, like, I'd go with probably Jason Veritek for my... Uh, my uh, catcher, but um, I don't know. Just an interesting conversation to to talk about whether and whether you do all time, all time, or you do your all time uh, during your lifetime, or whatever the case may be. But Carlton Fist, that's a cool card. That's uh, what seventy, no eighty, eighty, yeah. Um, Kari Stremski has that's what was that ninety? I mean eighty one. Yes, eighty one. Rod Carew, uh, Greg Maddox, Eddie Murray, Paul Molitor, Reggie Jackson, C Gary Carter, Andre Dawson, Robin Yount, Jim Palmer, and Gary Sheffield. Um, and Fred McGriff, actually. D dual card. So these guys aren't Hall of Famers. I think everyone else pretty much in this was Hall, Hall of Famer, 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 and Hall of Famer. Yeah, so other than this card, which a lot of people would debate... These guys maybe should be in the Hall of Fame, but aren't as of now. A uh, bunch of Hall of Famers. So, yeah. So, cool cards. Cool cards. Um, it's the first half. So, come back tomorrow for the rest of it. And uh, thank you for watching. And um, talk to you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.